So guys, welcome to the first of a series of videos I'm going to do here, short videos, on Anthony de Mello, a great spiritual teacher. And he gives a few talks, you can find them on YouTube, Awareness was his, his book as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to talk about a few of his key ideas that he talks about in these long seminars that he gives. So if you've got time, certainly check them out. But I'm going to talk about a few of the ideas that really are important to take from what he says and how they've helped me and helped the people in my practice that you know we've talked about these principles and these goals and how to apply them directly to, to, to life. So, number one, one of Anthony's ideas is, he talks about, of course, he's talking about how to reconnect with yourself, okay, how to reconnect to life. And he says, the first thing you have to realize when it comes to his teaching, or to realize the truth, to realize the truth about yourself, is to accept Okay, number one, to accept that your life is in a mess. Your life is in a mess. What does he mean by that? Well, cue denial. Most people, when they hear that, they say, my life is not in a mess. My life is fine. And they list all the good things. Okay, well, I'm going to school. I have a girlfriend. I have a boyfriend. Um, not both. Um, or maybe both. Um, it's denial. It's talking about, well, I've got a good degree, I've got a good job, I've got a house, got a car. I'm doing fine. Compared to other people, I'm doing great. But he says, how do you know if your life is truly in a mess? Do you ever feel fear? Ever feel alone? Do you ever feel despair? Do you compare yourself to other people? Ever feel sadness, um, grief, any of these little twinges of negative emotion? If you're having these feelings, he says your life is in a mess. So this is a big one to start off with. Now, Anthony's talk is long, right? It's two, maybe three hours. I'm not sure how long it is. But he uses a lot of that time to prepare his audience for what he's going to say. Now, this is a short video, so I'm asking you to sort of just hear that and let that mull around in your head and see what happens with it, okay? Is my life in a mess? If I'm carrying these negative emotions, now you may be in a relationship, you might have a job, you might be doing all these different things, but if you're doing that, and you don't feel good emotionally, your life's in a mess. He talks about, um, he talks about people kind of walking through their life, uh, kind of like they're zombies, okay? He quotes the line, I think it might, might be a John Lennon quote, it's uh, life is what happens when we're busy uh, doing something else or making other plans. So is that what we are doing? Is that what we're doing? Are we missing it? Are we too preoccupied in our thoughts? Are we striving for something all the time, never sort of enjoying the moment as it presents itself? Or failing to see, to feel some sort of gratitude for, for what's here right now? Because one of the other things he says is that happiness is available to you right now. You don't have to wait one minute to feel good. And we'll talk about that again. But this video is a short one, and it's about principle one he kind of talks about here. The first thing you have to accept if you're going to follow his, his sort of advice, his teachings, is that your life is in a mess. And not to, I think the reason he does this is because he wants you to get real about, well, it's fine to be sad. Everybody's sad, so it's normal. Meanwhile, you're going through your life with all these horrible negative emotions, never really getting serious about it, never questioning. Okay, you just sort of, we've all just sort of accepted that nowadays in modern society, we should all be kind of depressed. And I think this is sort of a wake up call, this message. 
So guys, if you like this video, subscribe maybe and like the video. Um, it helps me get the word out with this channel, help other people to see it. And in the next video, I'm going to talk about the next big idea from Anthony DeMello. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon.